How could that you go know, away, you know? Sorry? How could that song go oh, away from my mind? Know. You'd think that should be back on every year. Yeah. You like every, I may have heard it recently. No, who knows. But yeah, and then there was Second Class Citizen Where are they well. from? Sydney. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, mm. but No, I'm sure they're Sydney. Yeah. I'm sure they're Sydney. I'm positive. I don't remember where they... That was the, this the other hit, Second Class Citizen. It's got a bitter edge. Yeah, it's it. a it's a juxta, juxtaposition yeah. in itself. It's great. I think that's probably why I've always liked it so much. So, and also the bass lines and stuff. It's great. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Flashback. Hey. Yep. Yeah. But that era, like ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, when mm-hmm. I when I saw the Porkers and I was in this band that was kind of like a uh, we had a bit of. It, bit of jazz in our ACDCness. It's yeah, really hard to explain. Nice, but yeah. I, there's a there's a bunch of songs that we did that were uh, it was in, in, an impossible band yeah. to like completely like and then I saw the porkers and I went, that's just the coolest thing yeah. ever. Isn't we moved it? to Sydney and, and I inside me I'm going, that's cool. The band I'm in isn't cool. Like yeah, oh, yeah, right, right. you know and I left probably yeah. a year and a half later. Yeah right. and then I watched yeah Area Seven. Yep. Um, like things like gold, like the whole Vans Warped Tour yeah. and stuff came to town, yeah. and I remember going, I remember that. "Oh, thank God, I'm yeah. still not in some um, yeah. <laughs> some band, you know, trying to push something a, that you're not really wholehearted." Well, it wasn't fashionable, you yeah. know how fashions work in yeah, bands, right? Exactly. So, no doubt, uh, the boys from the Porkers would have been going, "Ah, oh, like, you yeah, know, definitely had their day, and they still yeah. do." Yeah. Like Area Seven, yeah, wouldn't. Oh, uh, but the thing is with the, like, you know, the whole, the scar scene, the rockabilly scene, the alternative, that alternative kind of scene, um, again, as I said, it's the diehard fans, and they're the ones that stick for 20, 30 years, yeah. that will always come out to gigs, and they're the ones that you want, like, you know, yeah. they don't, it doesn't go by fashion or anything, or trends, it goes by what the heart wants, and what yeah. the soul wants, you know? I remember, uh, and I don't really know much about Real Big Fish, to be honest, um, oh no, no, yeah, Real Big Fish, yeah. or, no, who's the band... They did a they did a cover version of Take on Me. No, no, no. The other band, um, yeah. All Star. Um, oh, um, uh, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah. Um, so Boss Tones, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. No, 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 no. 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 Um, um, Real Big Fish. No, no, no. no, no. What am I talking about? No, um, uh, oh, man. Oh, he said something that I, I that that. Yeah. Um, thing Oh, far out. Um, um, about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sing the song. Sing the song. Sheep. What was the song again? 
You don't suck, you don't play, hang on, you rock stop. And all that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars, and you know, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. 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 Yeah, he said something in a Rolling Stone. Write it if you know it. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, he said something like they, they were asking him, right, why you know, people have so much fun at your gigs. Why do they do it? And he goes, well, he said, I just don't see the point in getting like a big group of people together mm. and not giving them a great time. Yeah. Where they're all smiling and laughing and having fun yeah. and dancing. Like, yeah. and that, And I didn't even know them. But I remember that quote forever, yeah. and, and I still, you know, that's what yeah. is important to me now. Like, sure. Yeah. Is, it's true, well, like, if you're going to have a, a room full of people, shit, we should be having a great yeah, time, you know. Course. But then, and take it back to the band I was in, where I wasn't fronting that band. Mm. It was more about look at me, guitar playing, yeah. solo shit, and yeah. and you realise, hang on, the only people in this room are a bunch of dudes. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know, good, no eh? one's dancing. There might yeah. be some headbanging, but nothing else. I probably heard that and went, no, nah, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's well, it. Well, that's what Scar's great. Though, it's like yeah. everyone gets involved. Everyone loves it. And yeah, you, and you are. You're there to see the band. You're there to enjoy yeah. the music. You're not there for any other reason. Really. Oh, well, it's a trick. Yeah. <laughs> so you can be 50 yeah. and go to see the Porkers. Yep. Absolutely. And know exactly what you're going to get. Yep. No one's going to take themselves too seriously. No. It's no. all about it's having a good time. And then after that, we're going to get hammered. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and have a more good yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's exactly it. But that's and that's the thing. Like I remember, you know, even just. And it doesn't matter what age you are either. That's the thing. Because I remember the gigs that we were playing and that we'd have guys who were the old London two-tone scar, the specials and all that sort of stuff. Like real old school. I'm talking yeah. about button-up Ben Sherman shirts. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, like, and pretty much were skinheads and stuff. Yeah. Um, and would they'd be, you know, 50, in their 50s, 40s and 50s. And they'd come along to our gigs. And then we'd have 18-year-olds coming along to our gigs. Yeah. But that's the thing. But nobody disrespected anybody no. everybody got along with everybody because yeah. of that mutual love and respect for the music yeah. you know and that's what miss that's what's missing these days I think yeah in the music I mean you don't go to a Justin Bieber gig because that the mutual love and respect of his music well no I or, get, well you know what I mean like, yeah, or the or the mutual love and respect of the genre of yes, music yes like what is exactly. the genre of his music exactly it's pop but you yeah. know that doesn't yeah, that doesn't mean shit. Yeah. Whereas with Scar and that, it's a different. And yeah. I think also because with Scar and the rockabilly and, you know, punk and all that, there is also a political edge behind it as well. Or well, there used to be. Yeah. Um, or it's about, as I said, it's these topics of drinking and losing the girl and, you know, that yeah. kind of stuff that people relate to. Losing the girl to the jock. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> being that outcast and, you know, and that's probably what attracts yeah. such a nice, diverse range of people as well. So, yeah. Look at that, like a mirage. I know, it's right? so flat here. Isn't it? It's halfway it does, to it Dolby. Looks, the mountains look like. Oh, wait, no, we're over halfway though, aren't we? Uh, probably. Hang on, let me look. Um, yeah, it's actually probably. The really mountains flat. look like. Aren't we coming up here to your that town you did a gig in? No, it's further was up. Is that further past yeah, Dolby? That's right, fast. Okay. That was good. No, uh, good. Warren was uh, wa- wa- mm. No? J- Julaka. 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 Yeah, we're, we're 15 minutes from Dolby, okay. dude. <laughs> okay. That's good. Yeah, Dulaka, that was, yeah, a while ago. That was also an interesting gig. <laughs> but yeah, so, 15 minutes. Yeah, there you go, Dolby, 16Ks. Well, that's for the Maccas. I mean, of thing that shouldn't be mentioned, yeah. kind of type of thing, business. <laughs> it's like when they, it's like, because I listen to the ABC a little bit, and they, yeah. they'll get somebody who like, you know, slip up and go, oh, blah, 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 Apple. I mean, oh, yeah, the not... products that I can't mention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? So... Why is that? So, so they don't get uh, caught for yeah. or having a personal sponsor. If you yeah. raise, yeah. if you start like product placement, yeah, exactly. So. I want that gear. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I want to product place anything. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe, but then I'd probably pick some random product that people would be like, "What?" Oh, yeah. That that story about the porkers reminds me of the time <laughs> I was eating pop noodle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real tasty <laughs> snack. <laughs> Oh, drinking, <laughs> oh, drinking Foster's that that I know. <laughs> oh, what do you yeah. drink now? Uh, everything. <laughs> I stopped. I started drinking at home lately. Oh, have you started back again? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stupid yeah. though. Oh, that's all right. No, you gotta have something. You gotta have some sort of us. Um, I've been. I just drink a lot of red wine, pretty much. Um, 
depends because it's winter as well. It's a lot easier to drink red wine than it is in summer. Yeah. Um, summer is for ciders and beer. Yeah. Winter's for red wine and um, ports and stuff. So do all that kind of deal. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I just started taking... Uh, it, I have noticed it though. Like if I go home before, I, you know, for months and months, not... Mm. Now I have no cash in my pocket only because oh. I don't go to the bottle shop every other day to yeah, pick up some right. drinks. So I found yeah. myself saving hundreds every yeah. week. Like, you would. Because you'd go to the shop to buy a six pack that's yep. 20 something dollars. Yep. And while I'm here, I'll get something from that other shop. Yep. And draw I'm out here. $20. Yep. And get something else. And then Put on your card. pretty much every day, or every yep. other day that was happening. Yep. And then I stopped completely going to the bottle shop for six months. Yeah, that's right. And then saved, well, spent it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I had lots of money. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. So only in the last it? two weeks. I, um, I think you're spending too much at the bottle shop. Just get a bottle of wine. It costs $7. Yeah. So, yeah that's what I do. Get my $7 yeah. bottle of wine. Yeah. Well, I'm scared it. of that because... Why? I love wine. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I got into yeah. drinking, really, yeah. is like... Yeah, beer I can have one and yep. two and three whatever yep. but I really like wine yeah. and, I, and I'll drink it and then I might buy two bottles yeah that's, yeah, but you can get two for deals for like 10, 15 yeah but that's bucks. what I mean <laughs> and then, then routine Mr. Routine yeah. here will become you know, oh I might buy a, a box of 20 <laughs> yeah but that becomes cheaper so I don't even yeah. it's like five bucks a bottle <laughs> yeah but my thing was buying and then I went well this is stupid because my wife started counting the bottles I drink oh shit <laughs> so I went okay I'll buy a, a, a four litre okay um, oh yeah, cast. Cast. Shit, dude. And then you didn't care. Down, yeah. I realised that you know I could buy one for nineteen yeah. bucks, or the ten dollar one pretty much tastes the same. Yeah. Yeah. So I was buying ten dollar cask wine Jesus. every week, and I probably get two by two. So yeah. I drink eight liters of cask wine almost every week, and I go. I went deep there. Yeah. Well, this is like five years ago. I was doing wow. it all the time, working like a dog, but yeah. getting home just going Bro. massive glasses yeah. of this cold red wine. See, this is why I don't buy casks because once the bottle's gone, the bottle's gone. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's, um, that's what I mean. Yeah, so, that's why, I, I, I mean, God, if I had a four-litre thing, a cask of wine, I'd be screwed. I would be drinking that four-litre yeah. every night. I honestly <laughs> would wake up and um, I remember clearly mm. having the shakes. Like, wow. And, but, yeah. you know, doing things like work invoices at night time, so you're just getting yeah. getting totally yeah. smashed, but everyone else is asleep. Yeah. But um, wake up in the morning with the shakes and trying to, yeah. um, and they reckon it's like you're, uh, like liver poisoning yeah yeah that would be would be yeah no that's what I do <laughs> but it's so nice just to sit and do work like the invoicing oh, yeah. mundane stuff that we have to do invoicing yeah. and emailing this to email that to get yeah. that to do that to that and just have a glass of wine I'm like yep sweet I'm yeah. getting through this and I feel like I'm okay about it <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you know the coping mechanisms right yeah Jeez. yeah but it's true like mm. to not do that I don't think it's great <laughs> no to I feel myself getting kind of bored with the whole setup of of a routine like work yeah. home and yeah. nothing work home nothing no no yeah. reward yeah like, and you know it's sometimes like you know, I look I look at it and go and like as you said with the pod like when you do the podcast with Hazel yeah. um it's like you know sometimes I look and go god I'd love to just have Monday to Friday nine to five to have my weekends go cool I'm gonna go Sunday let's go for a picnic you know what I mean yeah um and then I go, but I would honestly, that would bore the shit out of me. Yeah. Honestly, what, and then what the hell do I do for nine to five? Like, mm. I don't work in an office. Mm, no, thanks. No, yeah. it's not. I would probably get kicked out of the office. Like, they'd be like, you're too much. I'm sorry. You need to leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, you're not <laughs> blending with the other people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't, it doesn't blend. Trust yeah. me. Last um, week, your hair was pink. Yeah, I know. Now well, it's, it's even pinker. Yeah, well, it's peach now. <laughs> It's peach. Um, well, it's sort of a tinge of orange more. Um, but that's what I mean. Like, and even with the way that I dress, like, they'd be like, you need... I've had it before. You, you need to calm down. And I'm like, no, that doesn't calm. Sorry. Yeah. I am who I am. And that's yeah. the way it stays. Who um, does your hair? Do you maybe. go... You do it. I You're do, right. Yeah. Just because I can do it at home at 11 o'clock last night like I was last night. <laughs> right. Um, and, you know, do other things while it's, like, you know, processing and stuff, which makes it a lot easier than sitting in a chair for three hours. Um... But it's, uh, yeah, but then I kind of look at it and then sometimes I go, God, where am I going to get, you know, my rent money this week or, you know, because you're yeah. waiting for invoices to come in from different gigs or teaching yeah. or whatever. I mean, it always pans out, but I always, that person of stressing and going, oh my God, I don't have got like a hundred bucks to leave me for the next two weeks and yeah. I've got to pay my phone bill kind of deal. But then all of a sudden 
it'll just be, um, it'll just be, um, that's just the other half. <laughs>